Today's podcast is brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash using your power. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to Use Your Power. My name is Maveen. And I'm David Andrew Weed. David, how are you doing? I'm powered up, man. How are you? Awesome, man. I am excited about today's topic. We are talking about where to learn about marketing. Where did this concept come from? Well, it came from the fact that, you know, me and you are working together right now on a project. We're actually going to be doing a crowdfunding project for um, one of our clients here. And uh, we're just kind of banging out all the uh, final... Um, I guess, uh, details before we can start giving out names. The brief but, and the timeline. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and we, since we were starting to do that, you know, we're thinking about here, but there's some potential maybe we can start a little marketing company from uh, out of it. So, you know, I said, you know, why don't we talk about where we can actually learn about it? Because these are things that we're going to have to do anyways. So why not? Absolutely. Sounds great. I think, you know, and I even kind of raised this point in a in previous podcast episode, but I think it's important to learn from people that have the results you'd like to achieve. I mean, if they've never gotten the results, they don't have experience. They're just talking from a place of theory. There's nothing wrong with theory. Most of school and education is theory knowledge. That's fine. There's some value in it. But w- once you're out in the real world, you may discover that it's not the same as it used to be, right? Because sometimes even textbooks and professors are really outdated with the information and the knowledge that, that they have. And it is really hard to keep up unless you, you're a surrounded by it nine to five every single day anyway. So that's where you want to go. See people that have actually achieved good results with their marketing. Absolutely. You know, and if you have an opportunity, you can also maybe try to look for an intern job with that person uh, or their company, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Or some sort of company. It doesn't have to be just them because you may not be able to get a job with, say, for example, Neil Patel. Uh, But you can definitely get a job, you know, if you live in Calgary, as an example, with a marketing uh, firm in Calgary, as long as you have some background uh, maybe in it. Maybe you can start off as a a no pay or a low pay intern and say, you know what, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to figure out, you know, teach me kind of a kind of an idea. So uh, maybe that kind of a job may be uh, of interest. So uh, consider that. That's really good. Yeah, you can gain some experience in internships or even in jobs and take on roles that would allow you to learn that even if you don't know much about it. And obviously, there's companies out there looking for entry or junior level marketing people too. So there's no reason why you couldn't do that, especially if you have, you can show you can have a bit of experience. I think we can also learn from people that are in the process of getting the results we would like to achieve. And sometimes these are the best people that to learn from, right? Because they're in the smoke of battle right now, right in this moment on their way to getting what they want to get in terms of the results. And, you know, you can look at somebody who's achieved all these great things, but reverse engineering what they did at that point is near impossible. It's like they were intensely focused up to this point, but suddenly they started diversifying and that you try to copy their diversification when you don't even have the resources that they have, which is a mistake. So looking at people that are doing it right now is a really great way to learn. Absolutely, right? That's the best way to learn sometimes is from people, learn from their mistakes as, as well as what's uh, causing them to be a success, right? Is I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. You know, one of the things I know if you're going to be an intern, you know, you said it as well, if there's there's a lot of entry level jobs out there. So, you know, potentially look at uh, going to school, maybe getting a cor- uh, taking a course because you can definitely learn about marketing in school. Uh, you can also look to a lot of different online marketers and a lot of the courses that they um, provide as well. You know, there's um, a ton of different marketers out there. I definitely uh, recommend taking a look at who's out there, who's doing some really good marketing and learn from them. You know, myself and David here, we, we listen to Neil Patel and Eric Sue because uh, their podcast is very easy to digest. It's probably about five to eight minutes long, typically. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they'll give you just quick tidbits about marketing. And uh, so, you know, we consider that as marketing school. So it is uh, listening through audio and learning through audio. And, you know, just even listen to somebody like them, uh, we could probably learn a little bit more than most people could probably learn from school courses. Because, again, it's theory versus practical uh, everyday use. Yeah. And I think you can get certifications online too. I wouldn't discourage anybody from getting them, but don't spend thousands of dollars getting them just because most people aren't going to look at those as being, you know, super valuable or worthwhile, especially if they're in the practice of marketing. Maybe certain jobs or certain companies would look upon that as a value add or something. If you had that, they would be more likely to hire you. But I would say anybody that's really doing this thing isn't going to look at those certifications and go, oh, I need to hire you. Not super likely. 
the other part or the other place that you can learn marketing is in books. And somebody has taken the time to painstakingly sit down and write out their thoughts and organize them and figure out what to say and figure out what's valuable and what's not valuable, what they should include in the book and what they should cut out from the book. I think even books written by maybe not the foremost experts could just be valuable because of that process of editing and figuring out what to say and figuring out what the message of the book is. So there's a lot of great books and we can learn marketing from books. Absolutely. You know what? You stole mine again. So that's okay. (laughs) But you know, one of the things I also, uh, part of my books I wrote was, you know, read uh, success stories of people who are in these books as well, because they'll not only, they may not tell you exactly how to become a marketer, but they may tell you some of the the struggles that they had when they were maybe starting their company or starting to develop the ideas behind their marketing company. Uh, So it's also a great way to learn from, uh, from that. It's also maybe read about some of the bigger companies out there like Nike and Microsoft and read about their stories about how they grew and look at what they're doing in their marketing uh, as well. Yeah, that's great. And I think another thing that sometimes happens is people will listen to 40 podcast episodes of Internet Business Mastery or whatever and go, hey, I now have this knowledge. Well, that's great. Are you going to go out and try it in the real world? That's my next point is to experiment in the real world. Take what you've learned. Maybe it's just a simple Twitter strategy. And I mean, we don't know what's going to happen with Twitter. It might go the way of the dinosaur. It might get bought up with by Google. That's kind of what's happening already. But, you know, whatever it is, whatever social network is available, did you learn something about that social network from those people, that podcast that you're listening to? Go out and try it. Give it three months. Give it six months. I don't really know. But I think you, you do always need to give it some time to be able to see what the results are, are going to be. So go out and give it a shot. Absolutely, you know, and some of the best marketers, I think, in the world uh, do marketing for huge companies. And these huge companies are, uh, you know, attracting our listeners right now uh, six to eight hours a day, at least, uh, as they're watching television. So if you want to learn about good marketing, watch television commercial. I think you'll really understand if you look at them in that eye uh, of a marketer's eye versus a consumer's eye on how they're trying to sell it to you, the tone of the voices, the pictures, the the you know the the way they're attracting you what the words they're using you can really start learning on how marketing is done uh, just by watching simple 30 second tv commercials that's right i was actually watching japanese tv with those eyes too you know a while back i was watching quite a bit of japanese tv and there are other reasons for that because i'm planning to go to japan so it's always good to get used to the language again i mean i speak it but you know you don't if you don't speak everyday conversations you don't necessarily know how to do that when you're in that situation so it's always good to kind of study and learn that way but that was the other thing i was just looking at through the eyes of a marketer what can i learn from this what can i take from this what are they doing and you know i think i've i've taken away a few interesting things, which might be something to cover in a future podcast episode. I think, you know, and where to learn about marketing, here are some examples of people I'm learning from. Mav, you could probably give a few of, of your own as well, but I think some of the best sources that I've found over the years, one is Joe Polizzi, who wrote the Content Inc. and also Epic Content Marketing. I think he's got another book on the way. Every two years, I believe, he releases a new book, so there you go. Uh, as far as content marketing goes, he gives a lot of great case studies and examples of people who have done what he's talking about, and I think that's great. James Schramko, obviously, super fast business. We've learned a lot about the race course, which is pretty much what we're practicing at using your power, kind of with our own way of handling it or our own way of doing it. We've adapted it to what we're doing, but we always want to give credit where it's due. We're learning a lot from Neil Patel at ArcSue, obviously. Dan Kennedy has also been a pretty good source. Now, he's a little more old school, right? And it may not be quite as applicable today as it was back then, but his books are still incredible wealth of knowledge. Right on. You know, uh, you've named a lot of the same people that I have listened to or do listen to. Um, I don't only, again, just listen to marketing. I think that sales is marketing as well. Totally. It's, a, it's part of it, or at least the sales and marketing work together. So listening to someone like Donald Kelly at the Sales Evangelist is uh, something I do. Listen to um, Pat Flynn on the Smart, Smart Passive Income is mm-hmm. another great one there. Uh, listen to Michael Hyatt. I don't listen to him all the time, but when I do have a chance to, I do put him on and listen to Michael Hyatt as well because he's got some great information coming from the um, the corporate world as well, right? And same as James coming from a corporate world. Uh, Tony Robbins, not quite the marketer, but if you listen to the way he talks, he really understands how to draw people in and, Mm. you know, to draw people in just like TV commercials do. Tony Robbins is really good at doing that too. So I really like listening to him as well. And of course, Eric Sue as well, if you haven't mentioned him already. I have. Yeah, perfect. That's great. (laughs) Uh, And so one of my last example here was, I know for... uh, 
where we can learn about marketing. Now, you know, a lot of people listening to this, I believe are in that 30, maybe 30 to 40 year age group. There's also people who are younger than 30 and mm-hmm. uh, older in their 20s. than 40 as well, right? So that's okay. Um, but a lot of people will remember going to the bar, the pub, or even a club, uh, you know, and, and even right now you might go to your local lounge and kind of hang out. If you look in the uh, the location that you're going to, just sit there and really look at and I'm just trying to understand how the business is set up. You know, everything in that business is set up. And if you look at it, to be honest with yourself, that their job is to take money out of your pocket and put it in their cash register. (laughs) So, you know, really understand it. You know, uh, if you've ever watched the show um, Bar Rescue, really, you know, he talks about, uh, John Taffer talks about the the product placement, you know, where the bottles are, which bottles should be on what shelf, what's, what's your eye really looking at, how the menu is set up, you know, having the most expensive drink listed first, for example, because they know you're not going to buy the $100 shot and then they list the second one at $50. Yeah, there might be a better chance that you buy the $50 one versus the $100 one because most people won't, right? So it's just understanding the way they've taken psychology and incorporated that into marketing and sales and really put that as a whole package. If you can learn those things, uh, these are great places to go. I'm not saying you should spend all your time and money in the bars or clubs, but if you go, you know, spend a night or spend one day or evening or whatever, check it out and really try to go from that eye. You'll really be able to learn quite a bit. And, you know, the whole idea of bars and clubs, it is about att- attracting the opposite sex as well, or sometimes even the same sex. Um, so, you know, that is a huge thing too. And the way Way that marketing is done as well is very different. I like that, yeah. And if you can find a way to make the connection between marketing and sales and maybe even learn both sides or find a way to streamline that process from marketing to sales, I think you'll be more valuable not only to the companies that are out there, but if you plan to start your own business or online endeavor, then you'll find immense value in being able to do that. Because really, as online entrepreneurs, we start by you know, doing it ourselves, or many of us do. Some people do start with a team immediately just because they know they've got something and they already know what they're doing. But many others start you know, new ventures all by themselves. So if you can take it, people from marketing and awareness to sales, that's an incredible skill to have. Absolutely. You know, and the other thing too, I know uh, we all are on this. We're all on social media right now. We're all, uh, you know, Instagramming or Facebooking or Twittering or Snapchatting or whatever your platform of preference is. You know, there's some really good marketers on those places as well. So it's a great place to go and just see what other people are doing. I know one of the recent uh, Adidas commercials that had come out was, uh, I believe is a, I don't know the lady's name, but she was a fitness, you know, she's pretty big into fitness. I think she was an Instagram star. They kind of got her in and said, hey, you know, why don't you do an TV commercial with us. So now a lot of this uh, marketing is being, uh, you know, done by influencers who have a lot of followers out there. So, you know, if you want to learn about marketing, get a lot of followers to follow and do what you're doing and you'll really start learning because as soon as you start have to start interacting with people, you'll have to start learning on how to interact with people. Absolutely. And the great thing is we're in the information age. So there's so many sources that you can learn from and you can learn from us if you want. You can listen to our journey and we'll share it with you and we'll talk about how things are going and what we've learned from our various campaigns and and efforts. You can go to the same places we go to, to those sources to find inspiration on, on marketing. So there's no shortage of places to go. You just want to find the right ones, which can take some time. Absolutely. You know, and it's funny, you're laughing. I don't kind of too, David, but it's, uh, you know, I went to... Uh school in uh, university and college and I actually took marketing which is awesome uh, you know that was my initial idea was to get into marketing and maybe work for a company and you know like most people I went to school and never got a job in my own field right I started uh, working at the bank and said hey you know what this is a pretty good job you know why should I look at marketing if I got a job at the bank maybe one day I'll get a job working with uh, the bank and their marketing department of course that never happened and you know it's kind of a neat thing you know uh, maybe uh, I don't know how long it's been now maybe about 18 15 18 years something like that uh, years later the the nice turnaround has come is now you know online marketing is really big and it's still something that I have passion in and you know sales is still one of my things I enjoy doing so now being able to put all this together with somebody who knows like yourself how to kind of do some of the background things on the computer and really teaming up with yourself David it has really been a, a neat thing so I, I'm pretty excited about our marketing company that we're looking to start here because it really is going to allow us to bring two different skill sets together and really uh, develop that into one. Yeah, totally. I love that. Any other thoughts? Nope, not at all, man. Cool. Well, find us online at usingyourpower.com. You can leave a comment while you're there. You can get a free audio course while you're there. If you're on YouTube, you can always leave a comment there too. Find us on Stitcher, iTunes, pretty much most places you can find podcasts. 
Absolutely. You know, and let us know from the last episode if you had an opportunity to listen to uh, any of these episodes that we have or other podcasts that you enjoy listening to on Double Speed and let us know how that goes. And let us know if there are other marketing places that we didn't cover uh, where you could also go and learn from. Yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you.